It is now time for Ask the Expert. If you're considering fostering a pet, we've got the perfect expert to answer all your questions about some of the misconceptions on fostering animals. And perhaps the perfect pet to be a foster parent on. Joining us live this afternoon is Jenny Miller. She's the Director of Donor and Data Integrity at the Wisconsin Humane Society. So let's talk about this. As we said, there are a number of misconceptions about out there about fostering an animal. Could you start to explain what some of those are? Looks like, and who do you have here? Well, this is Star. Um, yep. She's here to be an ambassador for all Quite those the ambassador. animals out oh, there that are, so are looking cute. for help. Um, she's two months old. She's available at our Milwaukee campus, and she's just adorable. Um, but to answer your question about fostering, um, fostering is a really vital service um, that volunteers provide for us at the Wisconsin Humane Society. They essentially open up their homes to homeless animals and allow us to expand the size of our shelter. Um, and we use foster families to help with animals animals that are too young or too small, animals that might be a little bit sick or have some behavior issues. Um, foster families help support our um, program that uh, cares for animals that are in domestic violence situations, so they're really vital. Um, and we don't want people to think that they can't do it, because really, as long as you don't need to have a big house, mm -hmm. um, all you need is an extra bedroom or um, an office or even a bathroom if you're fostering kittens, a separate room where you can um, have those animals uh, receive a little um, extra care. So some would ask, what if I already have a pet. Can I still foster another? Yeah, that's a great question. A lot of our foster families do have other animals, and that's completely fine as long as you have the space to be able to separate them. Oh, okay. um, give your own animals their own space and give your foster animal their own space. That's absolutely fine. So they really should be separated? They should be. Yeah, we recommend that. Um, it, it's just better um, for a lot of reasons, for health reasons and for the stress of, of the animals, too. Um, it's better to have them separated. Okay. So there's cost involved in being a, a foster parent or a fostering an animal, so uh, how are those uh, expenses picked up or are they out-of-pocket expenses? Uh, we cover those. The Wisconsin oh. Humane Society covers all those costs. So we cover costs for food, vaccination, um, toys and supplies. Um, the only thing the foster family has to provide is love. So uh, mm. as long as you have love We to should give. all have that in our hearts, right? Yeah, I hope is so. Is there uh, a time period where, you know, you're looking how for a week or two? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's, yeah it's, it's different for all fosters. Um, some of them are a period of weeks or weeks. Some of our our fosters are more long-term, but um, it really varies on, on um, the animal situation. Well, something tells me if you start fostering Star here, it's only going to be temporary because you're going to want that Ooh. to be permanent. If that happens too. We call right. that a foster failure, and it's not a failure. <laughs> right, that's true. <laughs> that's a great it success happens. story. <laughs> right. All right. Aww, well, and you, again, Star is available. Yes. Can we get a tight shot on Star while Did you... Did we go? Oh, Got a question for our experts? Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We have the number right there for you. Thanks, Star and Jenny. <laughs> All right, just ahead, the one.